Does the African National Congress in Northwest have confidence in Premier Supra Mahuma Pelu? What is the provincial government's position regarding the EFF's motion of no confidence in the Northwest Premier? Why have public servants in the Department of Health given Premier Mahuma Pelu 14 days to resign? And what is the provincial government doing about allegations of corruption in the Department of Health? What time is it? It's question time. Hotong, Raro, Rula, and welcome to the show. My name is Mpo Tseidu. Public servants in the Northwest Department of Health are reported to have given Premier Supra Mahoma Pelu 14 days to resign from his position. In their memorandum, unions in the health sector, Nihau, Denosa, and Hospersa, stated scandals that have recently rocked the province. The Gupta-linked Mediosa contract and the general state of health in the province have angered the health workers. They are also calling for the removal of head of department, Dete Tabo Likalakala, saying Mediosa was awarded under his watch. Meanwhile, the Democratic Alliance in the province says it will support the EFF's motion of no confidence in Premier Mahoma Pelu. The motion is scheduled to be debated on 17th April. We are live, therefore you can call us and air your views. The number to dial is 089-110-4210. Internationally, plus 2789-110-4210. Tweet us your comments. Our Twitter handle at question time 24. A reminder that you can also stream us on our Facebook page, SABC News Online, and our YouTube channel, YouTube forward slash SABC Digital News. My guest today joining us from Mahikeng Studio, Itumeleng Musala is a member of the Northwest Provincial Executive Committee and joining us on the line is Patrick Makafani, who is the Provincial Secretary of Nehau, the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union. Let me welcome both of you gentlemen to the show. Uh, perhaps let me just start with you as Nehau. Quickly, you protested in the past week um, what were the demands that you uh, 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 perhaps presented to the provincial government? Uh, greetings to everyone out there at home. Well, Nehau took the street on the 20th of March, and you would recall that uh, this is the Human Rights Month. Uh, our march took place just on the eve of the, uh, uh, you know, Human Rights Day, precisely because workers are aggrieved in the northwest province, in particular the public services, um, uh, under the banner of the National Education Health and Allied Workers Union. Critical to the issues which they have raised in summer is uh, the general maladministration in the public services broadly in the northwest province. And we must qualify this by saying it is not limited to the Department of Health uh, workers only. It cuts across majority, if not all, public, uh, uh, public sector departments. Uh, insofar as issues of management are concerned, workers have been raising grievances. Um, effectively, before 2013 and when we came to the office in 2013 and beyond, uh, coming uh, to this stage, we still have grievances raised by members of Nihau and other unions which have not been responded to uh, by, the, by the employer uh, who is now in this case unfortunately led by the politicians who are mandated by the political party to go and lead in government. Uh, uh, apart, apart from those issues, you've got issues of corruption uh, that have just uh, you know, engulfed the government department uh, in totality and which workers are saying uh, part of our demands, which are financially related, are highly compromised as a result of, uh, you know, the non careless uh, of, the, of the officials in government and the politicians who uh, could rather have their day spending uh, financial resources of the government on things that are not related or and are not bringing any significant change uh, to the public sector in the Northwest Department uh, government. Okay. And therefore, affecting directly the workers and the, and the workers' uh, mutual issues. And hence, then there's a call 
that we think that there must be a change in the provincial uh, uh, government. Okay, thanks. Hold it there. Um, let me bring in it, Meleng Sala here. You, you are a member of uh, the PEC, which is presiding over, um, well, effectively one region, because all the other regions have been disbanded. Um, there cannot be stability under those circumstances, uh, Ramsal. Uh, good evening to you, Mpo, and good evening to Comrade Pat, and good evening to the, to the viewers. Uh, as you would know, as the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC in the Northwest Province, with regard to issues of uh, uh, regions of the ANC, uh, when we were supposed to embark on the program of uh, going to regional conferences uh, some time ago, uh, we were then requested by the National Executive Committee of the ANC that uh, uh, it was just before the local government uh, uh, elections that we must keep in abeyance issues relating to regional conferences. Uh, now, the situation as it stands now, all the regions are due to go for, for conferences. Preparations are underway for all the regions in the province to go for, for regional conference, except the region of Ngakamudiri Mulema, which had held its successful uh, uh, regional conference. But we're talking about a region that, for instance, uh, Dr. Ruth Mompati, which was disbanded on the 21st of September 2015. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, it's true that uh, that particular region was disbanded. There was a program to make sure that uh, Issues that led to the disbandment do not re recur in that particular region. A task team was put in place to make sure that uh, a number of uh, programs are put in place to make sure that uh, we build unity and cohesion in that particular um, uh, region. The regional conference was uh, scheduled to take place in uh, February and, and just on the eve of the conference, then it was then interdicted, and I think it's common cause, it's common knowledge to everybody that it was interdicted, and the PC then had to take a decision that uh, uh, we must not proceed with the conference. Up until such time, all the issues raised by, by members of the ANC who are affected in that particular region are attended to. So all the matters as we speak in that particular region have been attended to, we will be going to the regional conference in due course. But do you, at least, and I want us to really get back to, to, to uh, 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 the uh, chairperson's uh, position here. But do you understand that that particular uh, RTT which had been installed there was irregular? I mean, Rule 19.9.10 of the ANC Constitution says uh, an RTT will be in place for at least six months. And this one has been there forever and at some point even had 45 executive members. That's the reason why I'm saying to you that, uh, that uh, we're supposed to have a regional conference in uh, February, which was then interdicted and had to be kept in abeyance up until all the issues raised, which have been resolved now, uh, are attended to. So we will be going to the regional conference in that particular region. We will be going in the, to the regional conference in uh, Bojanala. We will be going to the regional conference in Dr. Kenneth Kaunda region. Okay, hold it there. Lucky you are in uh, Rustenburg. Welcome. Yes, Mpo, uh, thank you very much. I don't know. It's just that uh, I don't know I've been following, but uh, what I understand is that uh, uh, I'm calling regarding in relation to the question of no confidence which need to be held on April. Yes, uh, correct. About, we are uh, getting to that. Yes, you are right. Yes, yes. Uh, I think that is the right decision by by the <coughs> opposition party. 
uh, to say that uh, indeed it needs to take place as we, are, as we see that our province is uh, going down on the train because of the leadership of Comrade Mauma That is basically my input uh, okay. in relation to the uh, motion of no confidence that needs to be tabled. Okay, thanks very much, Lucky. Well, uh, uh, Ramzal, um, Lucky says it would be a good decision if Supra was to go. Do you agree? And if not, why should he be kept? Well, uh, let me put it. Let let me put it. Let me put it on record for that. Uh, firstly, as the provincial executive committee of the NC, we have full confidence in the premier and the provincial chair of the NC in the province, uh, Comrade uh, Supra uh, Mahuma Pelu. Uh, you see, the difficulty that we normally find ourselves in is that uh, we can't remove a person as the ANC on the basis that there is a lot of there are a lot of allegations that are made. If we can find ourselves in a situation where every time allegations are made and remove people, we are going to find ourselves not having an organization at all. Okay. So as the ANC we want to put it up front that we will never support the motion of the EFF to remove the Premier of the Northwest. But the ANC is divided on that. There are those who are saying he must go. Well, I'm not sure which ANC are you talking about because we only have one ANC. We have one ANC in the province and we have pronounced on this particular subject matter that uh, we will not support the economic freedom fighters with regard to this particular issue of uh, wanting to remove the premier. This position of us in the province was also reinforced over the weekend by the National Executive Committee of the ANC, which said in Cape Town, you would know that uh, two provinces at this particular stage, the opposition have submitted vote of no confidence against the premiers, which is our province in the northwest, and Houghton province. So the NEC has taken a decision that will not support any motion which, which has been submitted by the opposition parties to remove deployees of the African National Congress. Okay, just hold it there. Hotso, you are in Klexdorp. Welcome. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for the call. I'm great. Uh, my, mine is just a comment. It's more about uh, the regional conferences that are supposed to take place. Yes. And apparently they are not because actually Mr. Mosala, he is one of those who are actually disrupting those regional conferences because it is it's in his best interest to, 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 to keep being the chairperson of the region of the Kenneth Kaunda. When other people, he's been lobbying so that they do not go through just because he wants to stay as a chairperson of uh, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, as he is also a lapdog of Mr. Supra Pelo, who was also the one who has actually been mobilizing people to disrupt all the regional, uh, all, all the branches that are trying to take place since from uh, the start of uh, the election, the, 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 the conference last year. Damsala, and by the way, you, you also don't you have your powers stripped there, so you are ceremonial. No, no, let me, let me put it uh, on record that uh, last year on the 13th of October, in the Provincial General Council, which was held in uh, Rustenburg, I was elected as a member of the Provincial Executive Committee of the NC, so... I ceased to be the regional chairperson of the ANC in Dr. Kenneth Kaunda region on that particular day. So I'm no longer a regional chairperson of the ANC in Dr. Kenneth Kaunda region. Secondly, some of these particular regions were supposed to have gone to conferences. But like I said, we were then confronted with a situation where there were lot court litigations against these particular conferences. We are now at a stage where we think as the ANCPC in the province, we have attended to all the issues which the court has directed us to attend to. 
and we are ready to proceed with the regional conferences probably immediately after Easter holidays. Okay, let me bring in how as well. I mean, this this issue of Nepal, uh, which uh, seems to to be well, it, not that it refuses to die down, but there's a lot of controversy there. Millions of rand um, alleged to have been spent irregularly uh, to uh, ensure that there are some, I mean, uh, operations of government taking place there. What are your views there as now? Look, uh, it is one of the issues that uh, uh, is a major concern from the workers that uh, uh, we, we view it as pure corruption and nothing else, uh, uh, committee for look. Um, you have government department structured in a way that every aspect that must assist the department to run uh, is there as a component in an organogram of that particular department, including the premier's office. You have supply chain, you have finance, you have uh, your IT, you have everything that you have there. Now, the question is, why then do you have to outsource certain services uh, when you are actually by outsourcing, duplicating the very same services you have? It is just one way of ensuring that uh, uh, people are actually uh, generating money uh, through some corrupt relationship they have with certain individuals out there and therefore taking a route of milking government resources at the expense of quality service, at the expense of the effective running of the public uh, uh, service department, and at the expense of the workers' benefits and, 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 and payments and so forth. And that's why then, uh, amongst many things, uh, when we march on the 20th, we did raise that there must be a proper, independent, and credible in investigation so far as the issue of Nepal and others are concerned. So uh, this is, this is uh, what uh, uh, we have been raising uh, uh, as, as, as the trade union. But it can't be that a uh, 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 government is prohibited an opportunity uh, to deliver quality services to its people uh, through some channeling of the resources to certain individuals and companies. That, that cannot be correct. And uh, uh, it is pure corruption if you ask us. Rason. 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 Ndadambo <laughs> delivery saying, well, look, we are not getting much help there. But I'm sure Tatum uh, Salah uh, will be able to respond there, perhaps just uh, also uh, um, including the NEPO uh, matters there as to what do you say as the ANC? Don't you think that the noise that is being made by some of your alliance partners, Nehau, um, are legit? <coughs> well, uh our position as the African National Congress is that uh, we've got relevant uh, platforms that we have uh, created through the alliance, wherein uh, if there are matters that concerns either one of our sister unions, which is an affiliate of COSATU, they've got all the right to engage with us as the provincial executive committee of the ANC so that we collectively 
can sit down and see how best we can resolve whatever issues that they as uh, sister organizations like Nehau, for example, are actually facing in the workplace. So at hold, this stage, hold, hold we have not yet there. received hold, hold it then, any Demzan. request. Hold it there. Let, let's bring in Nehau. I want to establish from them. Was there never a platform uh, which was provided for them to raise these issues before they went to the streets? Nehau? Thank you very much, uh, Commissioner. But look, uh, we must register this thing that uh, uh, ever since 2013, we have had quite a number of provincial executive committee meetings of Nehau. And uh, in the midst of the frustrations, we have attempted to get the provincial chairperson, who happens to be the premier in this regard of the ANC, uh, to come and address the provincial executive committee with the sole intention of ensuring that we streamline and we actually deal with issues that are a cause of concern to this particular union. And uh, we must say that uh, never on a single day since 2013 today that we have come uh, to us and actually to try and meet with us. In okay. fact, uh, we then took initiatives to try and actually get a meeting. Uh, there was one instance when uh, we actually had to drive and uh, follow him to a TGC, uh, which was held in Madrid, uh, where undertakings were made of the follow-up meetings and which never took place. So then uh, when you say there was never a platform, as if there's a conducive environment or a level ground where people are willing to come to meetings and they are not uh, coming to meetings to, to address issues, then you'll be saying something. But when you're invited and invited, and the, uh, the leadership doesn't come to the workers to try okay. to address issues. Now, so that is a problem. Pat, are you saying Itumeleng is lying? Unfortunately, he, we were cut off when he was responding. I was trying to raise my voice, so I can't hear him when he says, uh, 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 when he was responding to us. But I must put it on the record that uh, 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 we have had several attempts to try and get the Premier himself to come and engage on a number of issues okay. without any success. Without any success. Now, the, 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 the insinuation that there was never a platform, who was then supposed to create the platform when we were requested to meet? And uh, people are not coming forward. Okay, Pat, thanks very much. Let me just give you a few seconds to respond to that. Is it true? I mean, now says you have never provided a platform. <clears throat> well, like I said, uh, there, is, there is a platform created on how we must engage with our alliance partners, which is called the Alliance uh, Meetings as the African National Congress. But over and above that, if for one reason or the other, it happens that the alliance meetings are not sitting at a time when there are pressing matters that are affecting the workers, like, like for example, Nehau. Nehau has all the rights to request a meeting with the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC okay. to raise whatever issues that are affecting them as workers at their workplace. I had listened carefully to what uh, Comrade Pat was saying. He's actually talking about them requesting to meet with the Premier. He's not saying that they had requested to meet with the Provincial Executive Committee of the ANC. Okay. To come and discuss whatever issues that they want to All right. discuss. It, 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 let me thank you. So unfortunately, it is a matter, we have run is a out matter of time. that we would have to. We have, we have unfortunately run out of time. It's a matter that we would have to raise. So I, I really apologize. Uh, but uh, indeed, it's a matter that would have to be revisited. I think it's a question of semantics. The Met want to meet the Premier and not the chairperson of uh, the ANC. It's the same person. But uh, let's meet again tomorrow. And uh, that was question time for today. From me and the crew, you have yourself a wonderful time. I'll be